once again welcome to Creative TV and today we're on a road trip to South Dakota. From there we're gonna make our way over to Mount Rushmore and then from there we're gonna head on over to Crazy Horse. But in the meantime sit back and relax as we take you through Custer National Park through the Black Hills of South Dakota. This is gonna be a road trip of an experience of a lifetime. We're waiting to go and here we are. Sit back and relax. So as we make our way into South Dakota, we did stay at Rockerville Lodge and Cabin in Rockerville, South Dakota, which is pretty close to Keystone. And in this video, we'll take you through the little town of Keystone. So for the next few minutes, sit back and relax and enjoy the beautiful scenery of South Dakota. for some place to eat for breakfast. Highly recommend the Powder House Lodge. The breakfast is on point. All right, so moving on down the road here into Keystone, the little city of Keystone. Um, check this out, a lot of food stores. Uh, there are some good places to eat, so I recommend uh, pulling over, taking a little tour of Keystone right here in South Dakota. Won't regret it, and once again, welcome to Keystone. That's right, there's free parking and restrooms. Okay, so my recommendation is coming back to this little city of Keystone at nighttime and very well lit. It's something you definitely have to see, something you will definitely appreciate. Um, I can't stress enough of how beautiful it is at nighttime, so make sure you come back at night and get the full experience of Keystone. All right, so back to Keystone. We will eventually make our way over to Mount Rushmore and to Crazy Horse. But in the meantime, sit back and enjoy the rest of this view. made it to Rockerville Lodge and Cabin here in South Dakota. Now this is the place that we stayed at and I highly recommend staying here at Rockerville. The room 
with a full-size room, with a full-size kitchen, full-size refrigerator. Cannot complain, cannot stress enough for how beautiful this place was. Highly recommend. If you plan on staying here, this is the place to stay at Rockerville Lodging Cabin. So just a piece of information that you need to know. The cabins are to the left of the main office here at Rockerville, and the lodge are across the highway, away from the office. They're by themselves up on the hill. Highly recommend staying at Rockerville. All right, here we go. Grab some popcorn, sit back and relax as I take you on a journey through the Black Hills of South Dakota before we head on over to Mount Rushmore. There's Mother Nature at its best.
So, welcome back to Creative TV. And right now we are headed to the Needles Eye Tunnel here in Custer State Park. That's right, the Needles Highway is one of many scenic drives in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Now when we get to this tunnel, it's very tight. I didn't think we were gonna make it in the car, but we barely made it. But there's two camera angles that I'll be showing you of this particular tunnel, which I thought was very cool. But at the same time, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if we were gonna make it through the tunnel or not. So, check this out. Here we are at the tunnel. The tunnel is very tight. Um, I was just like I said, I was kind of nervous. We did make it, but very nervous. Check this out. Look how tight this tunnel is. Now this section of Highway 87 is part of the Peter Norbeck Scenic Byway and is located in Custer State Park. The Needles Highway stretches from the junction of Highway 16A in the east to Sylvan Lake in the west. The favorite part of this drive is Needles Eye Tunnel. And look at this bad boy, look how beautiful this is. This is a definite, if you're ever in South Dakota, you definitely need to go to Custer State Park and check out Needles Eye Tunnel. It will blow your mind away. Just beautiful. Mother Nature at its best right here, coming out of the tunnel. And here's a different angle, a different camera angle of that tunnel um so check this out here we go as you can see that sign right there says needle eye tunnel and again we are in the suv and this is from a different uh, camera angle uh, outside of the vehicle and it's very tight i couldn't go fast probably like i want to say two miles an hour because i was very nervous i was going to hit the wall at some point on either side of the vehicle um, but luckily we made it uh, we made it to the other end with no scratches on the vehicle but it was nerve-wracking but it was a must gotta do it so once again if you're ever in custer in south dakota this is on your bucket list it's not on your bucket list you gotta put it on your bucket list all right so coming out of the tunnel here we are and we're gonna keep going through custer and we're gonna be looking at some more scenic areas and Custer State Park. So with that being said, let's get more into the video. Okay, so back to the Black Hills National Forest. The Black Hills and Western South Dakota and the Northeastern Wyoming, it consists of 1.2 million acres of Fortune Hills and mountains, approximately about 110 miles long. Black Hills National Forest straddles the U.S. states of South Dakota and Wyoming. In the north, Rough Lug Falls tumbles into the Narrows, the wildlife rich gorge of uh, the Spearfish Canyon. South, the uh, Peter Nordic Scenic Byway, which we talked about a few minutes ago on the Needles Eye. This is also known for roaming elks and the views of the gigantic Mount Rushmore you can see from the Black Hills, the sculpture of it. Nearby are the spiky cathedral spires, rocks, and the Black Elk Peak. Okay, so now that we're out of the Black Hills, we made it back into the small town at Keystone right here in South Dakota. And like I was telling you earlier, how beautiful it is at night. And look at this place, it's just gorgeous. In the morning, we'll wake up and we'll head over to Mount Rushmore. But this is uh, Keystone right here at nighttime. It's just a very beautiful city. I uh, really love it. Can't complain. Have a blast going to the Black Hills to the Custer National Park, looking at all the monuments, uh, especially the Needle's Eye. But that'll call it for the night. In the morning, we'll head over to Mount Rushmore. All right, welcome back. And let's jump on over to Mount Rushmore. Okay, so. Rushmore National Memorial is a massive sculpture carved into Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills region of South Dakota. Completed in 1941 under the direction of Goodson Boglum and his son Lincoln. The sculpture is roughly about 60 feet high. It has a U.S. President George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and the one and only Abraham Lincoln. Now, Mount Rushmore offers a awesome museum that I highly recommend you check out. 
All right, so before you plan on visiting Mount Rushmore, here's a little bit of information you might want to take in. The busiest months are June, July, and August. Now, May, September, and October are less busy and popular months to visit. If you want to avoid the crowds, you might want to consider visiting Mount Rushmore before 9 a.m. or after 3 p.m. So once you enter the park, you'll notice that there are 56 flags that are known on the Avenue of Flags, which was initially established as part of the celebration of the United States Bicentennial in 1976 at the request of a visitor. The 56 flags represent the 50 states, one district, three territories, and two commonwealth in the United States of America. The flags are arranged in alphabetical order with the A's on the walkway near the concession building and the W's near the visitor center and museum. The name of each state, district, commonwealth, or territory are listed on the pillars directly below each flag. Okay, so there's one very important piece of information that you should know if you plan on visiting Mount Rushmore in December. All visitor facilities at Mount Rushmore National Memorial are open all year round, seven days a week, with the exception of December 25th. On December 25th, weather permitting, the parking structure and grounds remain open, but all buildings are closed. So keep that in mind if you plan on visiting around Christmas time. Okay, so here we are at the staircase. We're about to walk the stairs so we can get closer to the presidents. This popular paved family friendly trail goes to the rock pile at the base of Mount Rushmore and provides great views. There are 422 stairs along this route. Accessibility, this trail is likely not accessible for visitors using wheelchairs, mobility equipment, or strollers due to the stairs. Alright, so coming up this staircase here is a little rest area. And you can also read a little bit about the 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt. There are some seatings along this uh, lookout point right here. You can take a break and rest. I recommend it. Alright, so we skipped ahead to the second lookout point rest area. You can read about our third president. That's right, Thomas Jefferson. So, we're going to keep on moving up the trail so we get closer to the presidents. Alright, so I'm getting a little creative with the camera here. And I thought this was some really cool footage, so I thought I'd share it with you. Alright, so we finally made it to our destination. We made up all the stairs and we are now at the lookout point where you can really get a good view of all four presidents. Turn the camera around and go straight up the mountain and here we are. This is a really good view. Uh, you can really see the president up close. So, here we go. Bam, look at that. Right under the president. That's right. So, 422 stairs. We made it. As we were leaving Mount Rushmore, I spotted a deer on the side of the road. I had two of them. So of course I had to stop and do some filming. It's some great footage of some deer. I love the wildlife, so I didn't pass up the opportunity. Check it out. So here's a short clip of Crazy Horse. And we don't have much footage on Crazy Horse. But once again, thanks for visiting Creative TV. And we'll see you back at the next video.